28 degrees out there right now, but with the wind still covering here. The weather zero. service has issued a winter storm warning for the Overnight following Overnight flurries will increase with total accumulations of three inches. Some it's people nice point to unusually cold weather as proof that global warming doesn't exist. But they're confusing weather with climate. A weather forecast tells you about daily changes, such as what the temperature will be and whether it will rain. Weather can change a lot in a short time. But climate describes average, long-term weather patterns. In North Carolina, for example, we say our summer climate in the Piedmont is hot and humid. In the past century, the climate of the entire Earth has risen about one degree. Many climatologists blame that rise on global warming, which is caused by heat-trapping gases we're adding to the atmosphere. A natural phenomenon called the greenhouse effect maintains a temperature range that allows us to live on Earth. The sun warms the Earth and its atmosphere. As heat energy radiates back towards space, some passes through the atmosphere and some is absorbed by greenhouse gases. The greenhouse effect keeps the average surface temperature of the Earth at 59 degrees. Without it, the Earth would be a frozen zero degree average temperature. Carbon dioxide is one of the most abundant greenhouse gases. It's what we exhale when we breathe, and what plants and animals release as they decay. Volcanoes spew huge amounts of carbon dioxide. So do forest fires. In 1909 came the revolutionary Model T. 1,700 were produced in that first year, a miracle of Since the Industrial Revolution began, humans have been adding more and more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. And as you can probably see from the haze out there today, the air quality index is purple today and tomorrow. Cars are same. one major People source. Respiratory ailments are being advised to stay inside if at all possible. Power plants are another. We cause more imbalance in the natural system when we clear forests because trees and other plants absorb carbon dioxide. The increase in carbon dioxide and other heat-trapping gases over the past century is what has caused the average temperature to rise. One degree doesn't sound like much, but in global climate terms, it's significant. Global average temperatures during the last ice age were only five to nine degrees cooler than today. Back then, sheets of ice covered a lot of the Northern Hemisphere. Warmer temperatures sound great, until you understand the impact. Throughout the world, glaciers are shrinking. Some scientists believe there may not be any left in Montana's Glacier National Park by the end of the century. In the Arctic, polar bears depend on sea ice for survival. So do seals. But their ice habitat is melting. As polar ice melts, the sea level around the world rises. An increasingly warmer climate could mean hotter summers, stronger storms, and stress on current ecosystems. So, what can you do about it? The most important change you can make is to conserve energy. Whenever possible, leave the car at home and walk, bike, use public transportation, or carpool. 
When you buy a car, make sure it's fuel efficient. Switch to energy efficient light bulbs. Turn off lights, computers and appliances when you're done with them. Plant trees around your home. They absorb carbon dioxide and provide cooling shade in the summer. We each need to take responsibility for our choices and educate others so they understand why protecting our atmosphere matters to all of us. Together, we can make a difference.